help me. I have no idea what to post about on social media. That's what we're talking about in this episode. Are you a childcare business owner? Maybe you own a small home daycare in your home. Maybe you own a bigger center. Maybe you're a site administrator and you're struggling with marketing. You've tried everything. You've tried posting in large Facebook communities. You've tried printing out flyers and passing them around in your community. And maybe you've even tried posting on Facebook and still you hear crickets. Problem is you're probably marketing your business the old school way. The way that you were taught, you know, hoping and promoting hoping that you'll print out some flyers and then parents are going to line up at your door. Well, let me tell you, friend, that's not how marketing works today. In today's world, you have to make sure you have a strong presence online. You have to make sure that you're leveraging your platforms properly, that you're investing in some paid traffic, and that you are showing up consistently being top of mind. In this podcast, I'm going to share with you online marketing strategies that are working right now in order to get you more reach, more visibility, and of course, more enrollments. So grab a piece of paper and a pen, a quiet place to listen to the episodes, and let me simplify marketing for you. Welcome back, Fred, to another episode of the Child Care Business Marketing Made Easy podcast. I am your host, Christina, and I am so happy that you're here with me. So listen, I know the social media kind of freaks a lot of you out. Um, you have no time. You just don't know what to post about. So you either hand it off to your niece or your teenage daughter, <laughs> or you just post randomly thinking that it's enough and that you're marketing your program. So let me tell you, friend, stop doing that. Leverage social media in a way that's intentional, in a way that's going to serve your business, and in a way that's going to engage and attract more local moms and dads. So in this episode, I'm going to walk you through a few social media content ideas that you can kind of take, make your own, create content with, and then just batch it out and um, schedule all of that in so you don't have to worry about that, um, at least for the next few weeks. So listen, if you are struggling with your marketing right now, if you want to start an email list, update your website, um, try Facebook ads, have someone post for you and really just generate traffic onto your business, but you just don't want to do it, then I have great news for you. We are actively taking brand new clients inside my marketing agency. So if you want to see what that looks like or what that would entail, hop on a call with yours truly. We'll chat about your business, about your business goals, and then we'll see if it's a good fit for us to work together. Link is in the show notes. Go ahead, click that, schedule that call, and then we'll take it from there. So what types of things should you be posting about if you're leveraging Facebook Facebook and Instagram? Now listen, the simplest thing that you can possibly do is, number one, um, know what your offer is. Is, okay, so that's where we start with anything that has to do with marketing. We based everything. So and when I say everything, I mean social media content, video, um, you know, our policies, any marketing strategy. Everything is based on the offer. The offer is what we're selling, how we're solving our client's problem. So as a business owner, even if it's a home daycare, right, I don't want you to be kind of rolling your eyes and thinking, what is she talking about? Yes, even if you're a home daycare, there are unique things that you offer or that maybe you can offer that your competitors are not offering, right? So that's where you start. When you're struck, when you're stuck with social media content and you just don't know what to do or don't know what to post about, then really just stop and go back to the beginning. What is it that I'm offering? What types of services am I offering? Where do I fill in the gap in my community? What makes my program, my home daycare, my preschool program better or different than everyone else in my area? Why would a mom and dad say yes to me versus a daycare down the street? Always ask yourself these questions, right? So that's where you start. And then what's going to happen is you're going to come up with a list of things that make you unique, right? And special. And once you do that, then you can start thinking about, okay, what do I post about? Because here's the good news, my friend. Once you figure that out, then posting, creating content, going live, um, sharing about things, uh, putting your website together, um, investing in ads. Well, that becomes a whole lot easier because we know what we're selling at that point, right? We're not posting all things Montessori and then we're running a a Reggio daycare, right? We're not doing that. Everything needs to align and flow, right? So that's the first step. Figure out your unique selling points. After you've done that, I want you to have a day or two in the month that you are going to um, focus all your attention on creating 
content. If you don't do this, you will never stay consistent with your posting. And if if you're leveraging Facebook and Instagram as the only way to market your business, right? You you don't have a website or you don't have um you don't you don't have any interest in paid traffic, then you need to be posting a lot. Why? Because Facebook does not favor organic um, content, right? They won't take your post, for example, and keep it in the feed for hour, for, for days on end. Maximum 20 hours. And after that, your post is dead, meaning nobody sees it. So if you have 100 people following your page, for example, only five or 6% of those people actually saw what you posted, right? So you have to be consistent. Again, this is if you're not leveraging page traffic, okay? So with that in mind, let's start thinking about content ideas, right? So for example, I'm working with a client right now. She is, she just opened a home preschool program with flexible schedules. She's a Christian based Montessori program. And when we kind of dug deeper into her offer, we figured out that she offers Spanish lessons. Um, she is a, um, she, she's offering free field trips. She is a licensed Mont- Montessori teacher with over 25 years experience. She has flexible schedules. Um, everything is really educational and she really prepares the kids for kindergarten. She has small groups. Um, and it's a Christian based Montessori program. And she also offers homework and worksheets that the kids can actually um, take home and really work on their skills with their parents. So those, those are her unique selling points. Now, what types of things can we post about? Well, I have a calendar that I follow um, and you can do this real simply. Just go on Canva or even just a Google sheet and just create like a Monday to Friday kind of um, of a template, right? So if you commit to posting three times a week, for example, then, you know, just cross those um those dates off and think to yourself, okay, well, Monday I could post about my Christian based Montessori and really talk about what that looks like in our program. Every Wednesday I could post about, um, the free, the free field trips, right? Or maybe why getting the parents to work with their kids after hours and in the weekends, it's really going to help them with their skills, right? And every Friday, maybe I can share a review or a testimonial or even better, maybe I can go live and talk about, um, one of the wins the kids had throughout the week. So these are just a few ideas, right? Choose four or five topics or themes that you can kind of rotate and just create content around those. When we are on Facebook or Instagram, we're not there to sell. We're there to educate, to entertain, and to attract more moms and dads to feel comfortable enough and to feel as though we know what we're talking about, right? We're the authority in childcare so that they can say, yes, you know, she, 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 she knows what she's talking about. Or, you know what? Yes, that really resonates with me. I think that would be a good fit for us, right? And then moving that client forward so that they can actually click that button and book a tour with you or hop on your website or send you a message, right? Whatever your call to action is. But in order to do that, you have to be creating content that matters, that educates, um, that entertains, and that really shows what your sellings or your unique offers to the audience that is reading them, right? You have to make sure that every, every, um, everything you're writing and the image, right? You're always thinking of that one mom or dad that is searching for exactly what you have to offer and speak to that mom or dad. That's it. Don't think about anything else. Just think about that one mom. How are you going to call her out? What is she struggling with? What do you think she needs to know about, um, about your program that's going to kind of get her excited or teach her something new or show her that, yeah, you know, like that's what I need or that's what we need for our child, right? So that's how you have to think about social media content. And here's the deal. You can create the content for, let's say, a month and you can create images, go on canva.com. They have a lot of templates, um, videos. You can, you can create a bunch of stuff on canva.com even if you have the free uh, account and then just batch everything in so you don't have to worry about this anymore. You don't have to think about social media. You know, a lot of the times, you know, we really complicate our lives, but all it is is really just stopping the complaining and just getting to work, right? So I hope that this gave you some ideas. I hope that it kind of helped you see how to leverage social media 
the right way and in and, and a way that's intentional and that's not going to burn you out. If you have a marketing question, you know where to go. Go to my website, childcarebusinessmarketing.com. Scroll in the middle. There's a little microphone. Click on that and you can record your marketing question and I will answer it in an upcoming episode. Other than that, have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if it did bless you or add some value, I would appreciate it if you go to wherever you're listening to this podcast from and leave me a review. As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace, 1 Peter 4.10. That is my intent with this podcast. I hope it blesses you and your business. See you in a few days. Help me, I have no idea what 